We're going to review the freeandclear.com adjustable rate mortgage or ARM calculator, which is a mortgage calculator that allows you to determine your initial monthly payment, potential future payments, and total interest expense over the life of an adjustable rate mortgage. The free and clear ARM calculator also enables you to review potential future scenarios, including the worst case scenario for an ARM. To find the adjustable rate mortgage calculator, simply click on the mortgage calculator tab on the top left of any page on freeandclear.com, and that will take you to a page that lists all of the calculators available on free and clear. The adjustable rate mortgage calculator is listed under mortgage program calculators, and if you click on the triangle to the right of the calculator title, it reveals a brief description of the calculator. I'm going to click on the title, which will take us to the calculator page. I'm going to briefly review an adjustable rate mortgage before I walk through the calculator step by step. ARMS typically have an initial fixed interest rate for a set period of time called the fixed rate period, which is usually the first 3, 5, 7, or 10 years of the mortgage, and then convert into an annual adjustable rate mortgage when the interest rate can change every year for the remainder of the term of the mortgage. This is known as the adjustable rate period. These mortgages are called 3-1, 5-1, 7-1, and 10-1 ARMS. So in the case of a 7-1 ARM, the interest rate is fixed for the first 7 years of the mortgage mortgage and then is subject to adjust annually for the remaining 23 years of the mortgage. The interest rate for the adjustable rate period, which follows the fixed rate period, is called the fully indexed rate and is calculated by adding the ARM margin, which is fixed over the life of the loan, to the ARM index, which is an underlying interest rate that can change over the life of the loan. This means that the ARM interest rate and your monthly mortgage payment can change and potentially go up over the life of the mortgage. Because it is impossible to predict future interest rates, we do not know exactly what the payments for an ARM will be after the fixed rate period, but we can review multiple scenarios to understand potential outcomes. I'm going to walk through the calculator now. As you can see from the way the page is laid out, the inputs to the calculator are on the left side of the page, and the outputs to the calculator are on the right side of the page. The inputs are the information that you provide or select, and the outputs are provided by the calculator after you click the Calculate button. It's important to highlight that if you ever have a question about an input, simply hover your cursor over the icon to the left of any input rectangle, and it reveals a brief description of the input and the information required. The first input is mortgage amount. I'm going to use $300,000 in this example. The next input is mortgage term, or the length of the mortgage in years. If you click on the drop-down menu, it reveals a range of options, and I'm going to select 30 years because that is the most common mortgage term for an ARM. The next input is fixed rate period, or the length of the initial period for an adjustable rate mortgage during which the interest rate is fixed and does not change. The fixed rate period is typically 3, 5, 7, or 10 years. If you click on the drop-down menu, it shows a range of options from 3 to 10 years, and I'm going to select 7 years. So our mortgage is a 7-1 ARM in this example. The next input is fixed period interest rate. This is the interest rate you pay during the initial fixed rate period of your mortgage, which is 70 years in our example, so the starting interest rate for the loan. If you hover your cursor over the icon to the left of the drop-down menu, it shows the current fixed period interest rate for a 7-1 arm. In this case, the current interest rate is approximately 3%. If you click on the drop-down menu, it shows a range of interest rate options, and I'm going to select 3%. The next input is adjustment period. This determines how frequently our interest rate will adjust or change during the adjustable rate period of the mortgage. So after the fixed rate period. If you click on the drop-down menu, it shows two options, annual or semi-annual. And I'm going to select annual because that is the most common adjustment period for an ARM. So the interest rate for the ARM in this example can change every year. The next input is ARM index. This is the underlying interest rate that is one of two components of the fully indexed rate, and this rate can change over the life of the mortgage. Lenders typically use the one-year LIBOR or one-year treasury note for the ARM index. I'm going to select one-year treasury note in this example. The next input is the current rate for the ARM index you select it. If you hover your cursor over the icon to the left of the input rectangle, it shows the current rates for the one-year LIBOR and one-year treasury note. The current one-year LIBOR is 0.590% and the current one-year treasury note is 0.110%. We have selected the treasury note in the previous input, so I'm going to use 0.110 in this example. The next input is the ARM margin, which is a fixed rate over the life of the loan that is added to the ARM index to determine the fully indexed rate, which is our interest rate during the adjustable rate period for our ARM. I'm going to select 2.250 in this example. The next input is the initial adjustment cap, which is a cap that limits the change in our interest rate for the initial adjustment period following the fixed rate period. So in this case, year eight of our mortgage. The initial adjustment cap varies depending on the length of the fixed rate period, and I'm going to select 5% in this example. The next input is the subsequent adjustment cap, which is the cap that limits the change in the fully indexed rate in any adjustment period following the initial adjustment period. So years nine through 30 in this example. I'm going to use 2% for subsequent 
subsequent adjustment cap in this case. The final input is life cap, which is a cap that limits the maximum increase in interest rate over the term of the mortgage. If you click on the drop down menu, it reveals a range of options from 5% to 7%, and I'm going to select 7%. So because we selected 3% for our initial fixed period rate, the maximum interest rate for our arm over the life of the loan is 10%. So 3% plus the 7%. We have submitted all of our inputs, and I'm going to click on the Calculate button, which will produce our outputs. The first output shows the estimated monthly mortgage payment during the initial fixed rate period. This is based upon the interest rate that we've selected for our fixed rate period. So this will be our mortgage payment for the first seven years of the loan. The next set of outputs shows the current fully indexed rate scenario. In this scenario, we use the current fully indexed rate, or 2.36%, as our interest rate throughout the adjustable rate period, so for the final 23 years of the mortgage. Although it is highly unlikely that the interest rate does not change over the adjustable rate period, this scenario gives us a sense of what our arm could look like in the future. First, we show the current fully indexed rate based upon our inputs. Then, we show the estimated monthly mortgage payment using the current fully indexed rate. We also show total interest expense over the life of the mortgage, including both the initial fixed rate period and the adjustable rate period using the current fully indexed rate. The next scenario is the worst case scenario, which shows what our mortgage would look like if the interest rate reached its maximum level as soon as possible. Again, this is a highly unlikely scenario, but it prepares you for the unfortunate scenario if interest rates increase significantly and rapidly. The first output in the scenario shows the maximum interest rate at the first adjustment period, which is 8% in this case. The next output shows the estimated monthly mortgage payment based on this maximum interest rate at the first adjustment period. So we can see a significant increase in our monthly payment as compared to the fixed rate period. The next output shows the maximum interest rate over the life of the mortgage, which is 10% in our example. And then the following output shows the first month of the mortgage when the maximum interest rate can apply. So month 97 in our example. So the beginning of year 9. The next output is the estimated monthly mortgage payment based on the maximum interest rate of 10%. As you can see, this is higher than the estimated monthly mortgage payment at our first adjustment. The final output is total interest expense over the life of the mortgage, including both the initial fixed rate period and the adjustable rate period, assuming the interest rate increases as much as possible, as quickly as possible. As you can see, this amount of interest is very high as compared to the current fully indexed rate scenario. Again, I want to reiterate that this is the worst case scenario, but it's informative to understand what could happen with our ARM mortgage. It's important to highlight that you can change the calculator inputs without having to refresh the page. So for example, if I change our initial adjustment cap to 2% and click the Calculate button, our outputs are updated automatically. After you have reviewed the calculator scenarios that apply to you, you can click on the Compare Lenders button at the bottom of the outputs and review a table with interest rates and fees for lenders in your area. If you want to review rates for an adjustable rate mortgage, simply click on Loan Type on the left side of the page and change the option to ARM. In this case, we'll look at a seven-year ARM, and the table updates automatically. If you have any questions about the free and clear adjustable rate mortgage calculator or any mortgage topic, you can always click on the Ask an Expert button at the top of any page, and it will take you to the free and clear Ask a Mortgage Expert feature where you can submit your question. The feature is free to use, and we never spam. We also encourage you to check out our detailed discussion of adjustable rate mortgages in our mortgage program section. Thank you for reviewing the freeandclear.com adjustable rate mortgage calculator.